So you want to find some meme coins that are like a legit, legit projects that are not going to rug on you. And a place that you actually can find leg like projects that are, you know, somewhat uh, legit in the sense that they are very, you know, transparent in the way that they uh, go ahead launching their project is finding them on a pink sale. And if you haven't heard of pink sale, it's just like a, a platform where you can go and buy pre-launches, pre-launch. Okay, now in this video, I want to tell you why this place used to be good, but um, the percentage of these that are succeeding is very, very, very low, and I'll explain why. Okay, so let's get into the video and let's roll that intro. Five, four, three, two, one, Places like Pump have really kind of taken off now. Um, simply because they're an easy way to raise money and um, start off with uh, low capital. And that's why there's, you know, basically from what I've counted, at least 5,000, maybe 8,000 projects launching a day on pump. And 99.9% .9 of them are, are failing, they have such a high failure rate, simply because the barrier of entry is really, really low. And any Tom, Dick and Harry can launch a um, coin on pump. So that's why this for the most part, is failing. And, and Pink Sale used to be good, but now it's kind of like turning more into like a pump and dump. And um, th and I'll explain why, right? Uh, this one here is the current one. Now, I'm just going to focus on Solana meme coins. Um, there's, you know, when Pink Sale first started, they started with ETH and BNB and then they kind of moved on to different chains but now Solana is pretty big with meme coins as you know a lot of volume in Solana so there's a lot of Solana meme coins launching I'm not picking on this one I just saw this one they've already raised 2,000 sol and um, there's still one day 10 hours to go now I want to tell you the reason why you should avoid any of these um, for the most part I mean there are some gems still some gems here but they're rare okay most of these will just fail okay and the reason being is um what what uh pink style used to do i'm not sure if they still do it because i haven't seen it lately but they used to have this um fair launch like there's a there's like difference between fair launch and like a um, token sale and a fair launch but basically one was you have you have a cap like they call a hard cap that's what like a hard cap is so you say look we only want to raise a hundred sol or we want to raise a hundred bnb or we want to say raise a you know a hundred eth and that's it it's capped right but now they're having these pre-sales where there's no cap and the biggest problem with that is the the buyers and um you know Everyone that wants to get into the project can get in it at the pre-sale. So when it launches, there's no buy pressure. It's just it's just all selling. All right. So this is what happens, and this is the biggest thing with all these uh, pre-sales. They have an unlimited cap, so you're letting pretty much everyone that's going to kind of like buy it in the beginning buy you. And this is the biggest problem. So just to show you this, I mean, I just had a look at some of these meme coins um, that, uh, and I'm just choosing Solana. You could go through, you know, each one, but I just chose Solana as an example. And I just pulled up, you know, a bunch of meme coins that had launched uh, recently. So you can see all this data. You can just go to launch pads and then go under, um, click on launch pads, and then you can just scroll through the menu with the filters up the top here, right? And just click the the chain you want and then just click like you know the status of what ended so i can see all the finished sales and there's some other filters there as well so um well here before we get into this this is like um manual listing you never go you never buy in a manual listing because um the the, the funds actually go to the owner they don't the liquidity pool is not created automatically um there's still there's still certain things that the uh, the owner of the project has to do has to approve um, you know the the end of the sale and prove it and then it goes to radium 
and then people can collect their tokens but when they have a manual listing all the money goes to the owner and they can basically rug and that's what happens with this one here they raise 1600 soul and it never see like videos are unavailable if you look at this address and type it into deck screen out there is no it never went onto radium so they just rugged so you never pick manual manual listing okay but here I just pulled up some random ones Tom cat with hat fair launch they raised 1500 like again like I said whenever there's big raises like you know they're raising a thousand soul two thousand soul three thousand five thousand soul it's generally gonna end bad because they're letting too many buyers in and they're all going to dump right as soon as it goes on radium it dumps um unless the rare case that it's like a really big uh celebrity or a big uh, not a celebrity like a big influencer that's behind it um then that then you know it probably has a chance but most of the time they dump so here i looked at this and i looked at uh, radium this is it on radium it pumped and literally just dumped um it just went downhill see why because you know the 1500 soul they raised 802 contra uh, contributors they just basically as soon as it went on radium they just dumped okay so here's another one meme fi fair launch they raised 3958 soul 1300 contributors let's see how this one went okay so it went up kind of like it started off not too bad in the beginning and it sort of tapered off and then now um basically it's from the 24th of april the show started just it just started going south a day later it was it dumped and now only 20 23rd to the 29th what's that six days it's basically worth nothing okay in just six days these people that bought in into this maybe they're lucky to get out before everyone else because everyone just dumps here's another one baboon fair launch they raised 1117 soul 1387 contributors um and look at this one this look look at the chart that says it all now that's a five minute chart let's go to one minute chart to make it look a little bit more palatable but either way Either way you look at it, right? Just boom, complete dump, and now it's worth nothing. So this happened in basically again, yeah, uh, from the 23rd, from the 23rd to the like basically the 25th. Well, actually, just within the first sort of two or three hours, it dumped. Yeah, 8:30. Yeah, half an hour. Within half an hour, this dumped to nothing half an hour that's all it took for this one and they raised 1700 soul this one here andy they raised 3844 quite a lot of money basically 529,000. and then they um let's look at um what they uh, this is their, their chart so it's not too bad it's um the chart is looking a little bit better it kind of moon and then now it's sort of like now this one's tapered off this probably has a chance later long term but um you know even then uh it's pretty much dumped or oh, it's probably 10 percent five percent of the original price maybe less um but yeah pretty much i would say a lot of people have already liquidated and got out of this one andy um this one here cats with hats in a dog's world 2200 soul and we're going to look at the chart again this one here started off well dumped in the beginning and then it started to go back up and then now it's just gone down to pretty much nothing and this happened within april 21st to april 29th about eight days this is basically done okay so again you know i've only picked the, i've only picked these sort of random ones but i can tell you now that no matter how you look at it um you know whether you look at 10 or we look at 20 or look at 100 it's all going to basically going to be the same uh 99.9 .9 percent of these sales on pink sale are failing and the difference is because 
they're letting too many people, too many buyers coming in in the beginning, right? There's no cap. They just raise, hey, you know what, guys? Anyone can buy in right now. And then guess what? Everyone dumps. And there's no community. There's no sense of community. You know what I mean? Like, this is kind of the most important thing about these kind of meme coins because there's nothing really holding them up. It's just a meme coin. So that's why when you think about um, these meme coins, people already talk always talk about community, community, community. And what they're talking about is if you build a solid community and everyone holds um, and believes in the project, then no one's going to dump, right? Or hardly anyone's going to dump. And then you're, you're going to find that um, this is going to cause a lot of uh, buy pressure. People are going to come and buy in, right? And the price will go up. But if you if you just everyone dumps like these 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 uh, ones that I just showed you, if they all dump. Guess what? Everyone just follows because they see the price going down. Guess what? We're just going to dump, and that's the biggest problem with this pink sale. And if this is not a this is not an adv advertisement for gummy, but that's why, in my opinion, um, when I found gummy, when I saw gummy, and again I didn't get into this early. I got into this probably about after the first or second day. So I, 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 I did not get into this early. But why I'm so bullish on Gummy is because of the, um, because of the community and um, because of what's coming with the staking and everything. So, um, you know, these meme coins, they live and die based off um, the, um, the community. And um, that's what you that's what you want to look for. And there's a lot of factors to look for, but that's kind of like what you want to see. I think Gummy is like the one percent of the one percent. That's how rare I think Gummy is. Um, so just keep an eye on that. I've already done ma many videos on this, um, but it's it's one like Gummy doesn't come along too often. Just like um, you know, like Whiff, like Bonk, like Pepe. You know, the, these are very rare. Rare. They're probably one in one in. 500,000 maybe they're very rare okay so that's what to look for as with uh, pink sale I mean you can try you like a pink sale I've done hundreds of these sales some of them have done okay most of them have dumped uh, or if they've done okay you just got to sell out because they'll eventually dump because everyone dumps and also pump is another place where it's just a dump fest it's a complete dump fest pump they should change the name to pump dot not fun. Well, the domain is pump dot fun, but it should be pump is not fun at all because it's just a dump fest. All right, so something to think for. So, how do you get into meme coins that are legit? Well, you know, I've already done a video on Gummy and why I thought that was. So, go watch that video and I'll explain explain exactly in detail why uh gummy is what it is because and and you'll know more about how to you know actually pick legit uh meme coins that can do well long term anyway all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe leave a comment it'll really help the youtube algorithm and i'll see you guys in the next video